Hello everyone. I have my beer. And today we're doing a product review. Red Beard Reviews. So, review today is on the Bass Pro Shops XPX S S X S. What's an S, right? Bag. And look at it. It's super sexy. I'm really into red and black, so anything red and black is super sexy to me. So, this place is a mess, but eventually I will make it a nice setup here in the garage to do stuff like this. But right now, we'll just hang out with old John, show you this bag here. Subscribe, little missy, because Redbeard has great videos. I do terrible John Wayne. So, went into Bass Pro, getting some other stuff, decided it's about time I got a bag. I had been thinking about it for a couple of months because I had been using my old messenger bag from years ago when I was cool and rode a track bike all the time in my early 20s. Thought I was a hipster. But anyway. Uh, and that thing was just a mess. So, decided to get this. Uh, grabbed it off the shelf. It was the only one on the top shelf. $74.99. I was like, okay, cool. Went to go, you know, check out uh, some soft plastics or something. Probably some Sankos. Because, you know, if you've watched my videos, I love my Sankos. If you haven't, there's a Senko video right there. Watch it. So yeah, as I was going by, saw the end cap and saw a bunch of them on the end cap that said $64.99. So I was like, what the heck, man? You know, I've got to get that deal. So I thought maybe the tags were different or something. So I took the $74.99 one back, grabbed one of the $64.99 ones off the end cap, continued shopping, paid. Got all the way home, opened it up, realized it was $10 cheaper because it didn't have the boxes. Smart guy. But anyway, it's cool anyway. I don't know about those Bass Pro Shop boxes. Ended up buying these nice Flambo, Flamboy, Flambois, uh, how do you say it? Flambo, right? We'll stick with that one. Bought some of those boxes, really nice, for about the same price anyway. So, the bag comes with three boxes. They're all about this size, you know, about 11 foot or foot, 11 foot. Yeah, they're massive. And this bag is really 20 feet tall, and I'm a giant. 11 inches by 9 inches, I think. That's what it was. Yeah, 11 by 9, give or take a quarter. Same size. But yeah, so it fits... It comes with three, but it actually you can fit four in here, and the little one on top of them too. So for like your terminal tackle and stuff. And I only got three in here right now. I don't know why. Someone might have stole my top water. My whopper plumber. Just kidding. It's a mess. So anyway, this is really nice, you know. Organize them through three boxes before I was running one day box in that bag one of those big uh, Like Cabela's boxes and you know originally it was oh, take the stuff out that you don't need for tomorrow Put the stuff that you do need That lasted a couple of weeks, and then it just became a jumbled mess, and you know all the Treble hooks are all stuck together, and you gotta fight them for like ten freaking minutes before you can even tie it on So I got tired of that But yeah, it's all good Got a topwater one that's in there, one that's just jigs, chatters, and stuff. Another box that's all crankbaits, and another box that's all just soft plastics and stuff. And then a little one with all your hooks and weights and all that crap. Very nice. This little pocket, 
you know, I put all my line in there. I got 55, 50 pound braid. I usually go 50, 65 on my braid. Got an extra spool of 50 in there. I got some 17 pound mono. I got a 10 or 12 pound fluorocarbon in there. Everything I need. All in that pocket. Now, this pocket over here, you got, you know, your little plier holder. Always cool. But this pocket actually has a, a lighter in it. Has a spot so you can put line in it. You know, it has a little spooler. So you can do that if you really want to. I don't like those things. I don't know, I've always had bad juju with them. They never work right or don't really... T I can spool my own line, I'm not an idiot. Maybe. But anyway, so I put my wallet, my phone, my keys, everything in here. No problemo. Go to this other side. This front pocket actually is a neoprene little thingy. And it's got these straps in here for four spots where you can put, you know, power baits, salmon eggs, gulp things. You know, there's jars if you're into that. I don't do that. So, this uh, pocket I actually just put all my camera batteries because I have about 100 camera batteries. And yes, I still let my camera die all the time. For those of you who watch my videos, happens a lot. Getting better. Maybe. And then this other pocket, I put my cameras in there and some extra face masks and whatever. Good, healthy pockets. Fit a lot of stuff in there. Good stuff. Got this little strappy pocket. I got some gulp spray on there because I lost my liquid mayhem. So I have to order some. I'm using the good old gulp spray. Garlic. It's actually not that bad. I used it for years. But... And then this pocket here is a little, has a little fly styrofoam thing. Don't take this bag fly fishing. I have a fly fishing sling bag for that. That I love when I go fly fishing. Normally in the winter. But, so this I don't know. Maybe put sunglasses in there or something. This little pouchy too. It's about the same size. I also fit some sunglasses. So if you know you need like ten pairs of sunglasses, got you covered. Gotta watch out for them harmful rays. Hurt your eyeballs. Alright, now this is the one thing that is I like but I don't like. And I'll show you why. It's a cooler. Alright. Which is super cool, you know, you know. Put your beers in there. Water. And that's just water normally. That's stuff you actually really need. I don't drink when I fish. I drink after I fish. But anyway, put your waters in here, some sandwiches, whatever you want. Actually, it does keep it cold. You know, you throw an ice pack in there, it'll keep it chilly all day. But even without that, five, six hours, it's still got a little bit of a chill to it. Not bad. But, there's not a second big pat, a pouch or anything to put some clothes or nothing in. I don't want to put it in there with my cold stuff point of having a coat in there with your cold stuff but so that is one thing I don't like about it but I have realized that these little strappy doohickeys if you just bundle it and roll up your rain jacket or whatever you can just put them right on there that might be what they're for I don't know I don't think they're rod holders because they're giant but yeah that's all of the holding capability of it. Now, it is super comfortable. You don't even notice it's on your back. It distributes your weight very well. You don't even, you're not weighed down. You usually have a lot of crap in here, you know, with all the water bottles and all the boxes and all the camera gear and everything. Don't even notice. It's a really nice, comfortable bag. And, yeah, you got this little thing, you know, so you can just pick it up and walk around with it, too. Yeah. Instead of those stupid strap ones that always seem to rip if it has enough weight in it. At least this is nice and sewed in that. Yeah. Strong. So, there's my review. Buy one. That's pretty much all I can say. 75 bucks with boxes, 65 without. You can buy the boxes yourself. 
buy an extra box anyway, so you can have four in there. Another little box, I don't remember the size of it. The little smaller one fits in there too. It's awesome. For $75, that's still probably $30 cheaper than all the other stupid backpacks that are coming out now that guys are bringing out and also you see other places, other companies and stuff. This is actually really solid for pond hopping and I even just take it on the boat now because I don't like taking my huge tackle bag on the boat and just takes up too much room. I don't have a lot of storage on the boat. On that old boat, it doesn't have nice built-in storage like the new ones. <sighs> but, that's it. Get it. If you need a backpack. Cereal. See ya. Comment, like, subscribe. Now. See ya.